Well, a stretch of Tryon Street where local artists painted a Black Lives Matter mural is back open to traffic. City Council members voted to reopen the street at their meeting last night. One block of Tryon has been closed since uh, to traffic since July, allowing pedestrians to gather there and check out the mural. New at 6, WCNC Charlotte's Ruby Durham caught up with one of the artists behind the mural and gets a look at his new work of art in Rock Hill. You know. Growing up playing on this court, we never had any lines on it. It's a basketball court in the middle of a tight knit community. We used to put sticks and rocks down and just say, hey, that's three point line. If you hear from back there, that's a three. But in just two weeks, Garrison Giss, the local artist who just took part of the Black Lives Matter mural in Uptown, helped it blossom into Sunset Park's newest attraction. Park is like a landmark to this neighborhood, I would say. Gist, who grew up at his grandmother's house, not too far from Sunset Park, was selected by the community to help revitalize the Rock Hill Court through the city's Mural Mile Initiative. The goal is to liven up neighborhoods with art in and around the city by the end of 2021. So we just want to show that it's cool, it's a funky place, um, that more is coming, and it's a great place to shop, to eat, to experience arts and culture. But with these abstract images already lighting up Sunset Park, neighbors already feeling a better sense of home and community at a time where it's needed most. You have a colorful court that'll engage a lot of kids to come outside and play um, and just get away from the dull environment that they kind of been used to. A colorful change giving a win to the community. You see stuff like this in huge cities like New York, LA, Atlanta, stuff like that. But for them to say, hey, I got a cool painted basketball court in my neighborhood in Little Old Rock Hill in Sunset Park, like that'll mean the world. Ruby Durham, WCNC Charlotte.